Hello everybody, welcome back to Bella's Big Adventures. My name's Sue and today, as you can see by the sign behind me, we are back at the Motorhome and Caravan Show 2024. I can't believe it's come around so quickly, but let's go inside and see what's on offer. Here we've got the Grand Canyon. Pop top. This one is 5.99 centimetres long, two to four berths, three and a half kilos. So you can do this without your C1 license. Obviously, if you want a bigger payload, you would need to see one license to use it. It's using some of the Venture S um, features. Pop top. Upstairs. Very nice. Skylight over top. You've got the fridge. Sink area. Nice cabinets over. Transverse bed. So if you're over six foot, you might struggle a little bit. And we've got timbre doors on the pull down sink, pop up sink with a shower attachment. So that would push out of the way. And then you've got your toilet below. Very nice. Homer Yosemite, a uh, new Fiat front on this one, Fiat Ducato. This is also under three and a half kilos, so no C1 license required. Fridge on the side on this one, so you've got ease of access from outside as well if you're having a barbecue or something. Again, transverse bed, same sort of pop down sink and shower fittings, swivel toilet, and again, oops, similar sort of fittings. Again with the pop top. And window over for extra light. There are zip out sections too on the sides. But yeah, nice little van. This is the Heimer Grand Canyon S700 with the 4x4 wheels. All terrain tyres, BF Goodrich tyres. Let's have a look from the front. Quite popular to have the raised suspension with the 4x4 now. This one is 6.97 centimetres and 4.1 kilograms, so you do need the C1 license for this one. I can, of course, take you to the um, South Downs Motorhome Centre and show you these in more details. I'm just showing you what's on show today, I'm trying not to do a review of every single thing. As you know, I've done a Venture S video. You can see that on my channel too, in detail, did a full review. about the background noise that's just an announcement saying that the inspiration center is putting on their show shortly as you can see they're all a very similar layout um, to be fair camper vans are limited on space so they do tend to have a very similar layout the Ariba car it is their first camper van. So a famous, more famous for these beautiful retro designed uh, caravans. Fridge behind the dri um, driver's seat this time. Seeing as this is brand new, I'll have a quick look around. We've got shelves in, a little cubby above the driver's, and this is left-hand drive obviously, but I'm assuming it's coming to the English market too. This is on a Volkswagen. 
the leather seats, controls above the passenger seat, got mesh on the, the door to keep the insects out. Got a little shelf above the kitchen area in this one with to hold backs for your jars and things, so that's nice. The lovely thing about this, of course, is, and will be very popular, I think, the rear lounge. Got a beautiful rear lounge that converts. There is no pop top in this one. I don't know whether that's an option. We've got some pockets in the door for storing some bits and pieces. The downside with having a rear lounge, of course, is you don't have a garage, but you have got a beautiful rear lounge with a face for a gas bottle there. There are some tie downs inside, so you could put a bicycle in. Another pocket on the side. You have got a door with opening window. But yeah, beautiful rear lounge. Which I can't get in because my bag's in the way. Knocking things about. We've got some storage down here by the looks of things. Not quite sure how it works. It's a brand new vehicle, so I guess, my guess is as good as yours. Nice little storage pocket. Look at the cabinets above. And at the back here, something different. We've got some little pockets. Felt pockets with straps to stop them from falling out, which is always a plus. I've got a USB socket for charging. Nice big windows on both sides. So sliding, twisting door by the looks of things, not to the washroom. So we've got black fittings, shower fittings. It must be cabinet in there. You've got a shaving mirror too, or a magnifying mirror. This is your drop-down sink, which is very neat. And the tap swivels, which also pulls out to become your shower. That's just magnetised up there. Very nice. Except for toilet. And two drainer holes in the shower which is always great if you're not quite level it's a little bit more storage oops sorry i'm knocking my own things off dropping my microphones um a little storage cupboard at the bottom there lovely big mirror with um lighting that's very nice and you can put a shower curtain all the way around to protect the walls the door has a leather strap to close it off You've got the pop up tap and a two burner hob. A couple of sockets underneath and a lovely big cutlery drawer. Very nice. Yeah, I'm liking that. As an alternative to the usual layout on a camper van, this is nice. I think this will be popular in the British market. People like rear loungers. And it's an interesting colour for a change. As I say, Dometic fridge just behind the driver's side. So, yeah, very nice, very nice. And it's on a Volkswagen, not a Fiat Ducato or a Mercedes. I don't know if you can get it on a Mercedes. And it seems during this show, you've got storage for chairs and tables that goes under the bed. So that's handy. Nice colorway too. Yeah, very nice indeed. Here's another colourway in the grey, the Rebecar 600. Also on the Volkswagen. No pop tops on these, so but it is a different colourway inside. So we have got the rusty browny red leather, which is actually quite nice. I like that. Same sort of layout, we've got a little pocket shelf up here. Same sort of kitchen, tap, light controls, sockets. That's with the bed across, uh, rather than the rear lounge. So very nice. Bathroom is the same. So that's a transverse bed that you can lift up and store things in a sort of boot area underneath, as opposed to the rear lounge. So that's really good. It's always nice to see something different, I think. 
Yep, like that. Really nice. Get a bit of an overview of it for you. There we go. A Leica EcoVip 645 camper van. Again with the new front Ducato. <sighs> I'm not sure whether I like it or not, to be honest. It's, it's odd. <laughs> but there we go. I think it looks better in some colours than others. Um, but anyway, I think you get used to them. It's change, isn't it? It always seems weird when you get something different. But this is their camper van. And it is, let's have a look. It is a CV645, as I said, and the base price is 68700 Let's have a look inside. I haven't seen in one of their van, camper vans. Oh, it's got some <laughs> patterns on the woodwork that's showing up. You've got your pop-up side shelf, some storage, lighting controls and power. That looks quite spacious without the table up, so you can put it down, so that's nice. It's nice and light and bright. Space for a TV. Oh, I think it's a push, but oh, yeah, there we go. Little shelf, cupboard, big skylight over the cab with lighting, controls over the door. And this is again on a Fiat. There is a step up in this one because it's a camper van. But nice big captain's chairs which obviously swivel. And then you've got your usual gas burner hobs and sink. Oh, different sort of catches. You never know when you're pressing these buttons how they're going to work. <laughs> uh, yep, so then we've got the usual cutlery drawer. Okay, and some more storage. We've got another one over the top for your plates and things. I do actually really like this. Pattern. I don't know if it's showing up on the camera, but patterned woodwork, really nice. Big stainless steel fronted sink here and cupboard underneath. That's oh, quite a large cupboard. Has it got a hanging rail? Yes, it has. So that would be your wardrobe space. The good thing about this, of course, is it has a massive rear lounge. Look at that beautiful leather rear lounge in a U shape with a big table which. I'm assuming swivels out of the way, yeah. Does it remove? I suspect it drops down. There is some storage space underneath. There are some hooks for locking bikes in and things, but that's a lovely lounge. Very nice. Beautiful little reading lights. Storage above. Yeah, I'm really liking this. It's really pretty. Skylight over. And we've got some controls over here too. Big mirror to bounce the light around to make it look more spacious. And the bathroom is a slide away area. So this becomes a shower cubicle uh, with your duck board in the bottom. Put your shower head up here and then that protects your toilet area. And then it swings back to give you your sink area, which is very pretty. It is a really stylish van this. Very nice indeed. Um, toilet, cabinet, lighting, towel hooks. It's high, it looks high quality. Very nice. There is an electric step, the socket, which is just down at the bottom there. But yeah, really liking that. Let's have a look around the back. Well, they didn't join, they didn't join. So we've got, there is an Omnister awning at the top there. This is really nice. I really, really like this. If I was in the market for a camper van, I think I'd be looking at this one. But I think you can tell where the money's been spent. So you've got a big area for two gas tanks with crash, crash sensors in there. Looks like there's a bit of storage underneath the floor area there as well. Underneath the seats. Some shelving for your cables and things. Windows with Remus blinds on the back, but yes, there you go. Isn't that beautiful? I know it's a subjective thing because we, what I might like, you might not like, but yeah, really like that. And then this is the 600 version. So that was the 645, this is the 600. I assume it's just slightly shorter. Let's have a look. I think it's almost identical. 
apart from it's slightly shorter so it's probably not got a rear lounge this has a base price of 66,600 so that's good bed on pop top roof are optional so you can have a pop top as well as a double rear bed that's interesting there isn't a pop top on this model but apparently that is an option this is a transverse bed across the back I think I really like the lounge one personally but if you could put a pop top on that as well that would be amazing yeah I like that a lot Ford City by Day by Dreamer I want to say Daydreamer City Camp this one 63,000 the NEC is 73,540 so the base model is 63 let's have a look in here rock and roll bed cutlery drawer on the side there and the bottom nice big drawer and assuming you've got one gas burner it's a nice colour. Hmm, that's interesting. That one's fold down Yeah, that is interesting. Obviously the headrests store in the bit behind the must make the bed longer by once the rock and roll beds rolled down then this would be an extra area in the bed it's a nice color <laughs> pop top there is a bed in the pop top and just see through the mesh there as I say it's on the Ford nice cream interior lightens it up and we've got the ratchet system in the floor seats this one is automatic I think it's on the gear shift so yeah a little bit of storage at the back and pop top with all the mesh vents and things reading light above there so it's a sort of car camper isn't it very pretty Dreamer, I know, do do a rear van, a rear lounge van, which I really liked last time I came. I don't know whether it's still here this year, but it was very pretty. What's this one got in the back? Oh, this one has bunk beds too. Interesting. I think this is the one that has the rear lounge. There's lots of people in it at the minute. But lovely cream interior, nice and light and bright. Two burner half sink. £78,180 this one. This is called the living van. Because it's got that rear lounge, I think. Yes, it has. Very nice. Comfy yeah. sofa rear lounge. So that's nice. Converts into a bed, I think. But it also has a drop down yeah. bed over the top. Lots of storage each side and a nice big skylight. Storage underneath the sofas, of course. Socket underneath the sofa. Bit of storage underneath for your cables and pipes and things and as you can see there are some big drawers underneath the sofas and there's a, a socket area there for you to install your table which is stored on the back door <coughs> yeah I did like this one last time I came it's really nice nice high top camper Four. 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 
I didn't manage to get in it last time because it was so popular. So I'll get in this time and have a look. Leather seats. Oh, and I've actually got a little little toaster oven underneath here as well. Let's have a look at the shower area. There's a fridge down the side of the chair here. Big wardrobe in here. Wow, that's cool. What does that do then? Welsh, that spins all the way around. Gosh, that's, that's interesting. This makes up the actual shower cubicle. That all spins out of the way, separating it off to give you a concealed shower curve. Cubicle. Amazing. That's a great idea because then your storage is tucked away when you're not having a shower. Nice um, lounge area. Lots of storage over. Nice big skylight. Nice big drop down bed, TV area at the back. Folding door for your toilet area. So you're actually getting quite a big bathroom in this one. Yeah. Tight area by the kitchen, but it's the new. D68 Up Sapphire. So this has pop top. Also from Dreamer. And it has a rear bed. Banquet seating. Mm. But this one does have a pop top. This the washroom. storage over the back there. And get on the Fiat. <coughs> and this one's 81,780. Sapphire edition. And it's got some storage under the bed because it's a transverse. Actually, you can lie long ways in this one, so that's good. There's a bit of a wardrobe space over there. I think that slides out, but you've got a bit of storage in this one at least. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't subscribed yet, why not hit that subscribe button and ding that bell for future notifications so that you don't miss any of Bella's big adventures.